Let's take an example of uh, a retail store and a customer walks in and buys few items and then gets it billed. So how the data gets stored in the back end? There could be an order header table like this, uh, which will only tell the summary of the order. It could have fields like transaction date, total bill amount, and number of products, number of items, etc. So order detail will have fields like it will have one line per each item bought and uh, it will be like uh, order ID, product ID, number of items, number of quantity and uh, unit price, total price, store ID etc. So we have another uh, store table to store, store ID and address line 1, 2, 3 etc and then uh, state city zip code and region ID so for example the company could be divided into several sales regions so again uh, if we want to get into the region what uh, the region details we need to go to the region table the region could be like region ID and name it could be like southwest or midwest or uh, Pacific region or something like that and then uh, yeah we have another product table to tell the product ID product name and category category ID category table called category and uh, which has category ID and uh, the category could be like personal care oral care etc so name so for example I want to answer a question like uh, in uh, Midwest region stores uh, what is the sale in the last quarter for a product like Colgate toothpaste so it, it will take a lot of time we need to join order header with order detail and with the store and then to the region and then to the product and then to the category uh, so for example I want to know uh, what is my total sale amount in Midwest region for oral care category in last quarter for that I need to join uh, the date is only available in the order header so I need to join that with order detail and then to the product to know the product and then to the category uh, to the store to get the region and then the store to the region so this involves a lot of joins and when I want to aggregate on OLTP system this is going to take a uh, lot of time for if you have millions of records this OLTP system which is an entity relationship model involves more and more joins so this is not really great uh, for uh, querying the data especially over la long periods of time like a quarter or so so that is the reason we uh, the data warehouse uh, has come into picture and the dimensional modeling has come into picture in dimensional modeling uh, we convert uh, this whole ER model into a dimensional model and the most popular dimensional model is star schema. So we have a fact table in the middle surrounded by few dimension tables. So here we have one dimension table for product, one dimension table for store and one for uh, date, time dimension. So one dimension for time and so we can have a fact table and the fact table could have fields like uh, it will have foreign keys from the dimension tables so my dimension table is going to have product ID which is a sequence generated in the data warehouse and uh, name category so I have uh, I have clubbed the category table and the product table into one table here so I don't need to go to and join to another table to get what is my product category and the store and region I'm going to club into one table so store ID and name and address state which includes state and uh, uh, region and so region region is separate so I get all these fields in store dimension in time dimension I'll have date ID and uh, what day of the week whether it's a holiday or not holiday flag and uh, you know, we can have more fields like whether it's a holiday in India or holiday US holiday or India holiday we can have holiday flags for several countries because the company could be present in several countries we can also have which quarter 
quarter key uh, this date is falling into so the company could have a different quarter and uh, financial year cycle and uh, country in general uh, for accounting purposes could have a different uh, cycle so we can have a company financial quarter as per the company of uh, financial year and we can have generally uh, if we take in us from january to december as one year so uh, how as per the irs rules or what is the quarter uh, for IR, uh, as per irs so we can have lot of attributes there is no uh, limit for the number of attributes we can save in any dimension so once we have this we simply uh, save the foreign keys uh, in the fact table the date id and the product id and store id and uh, here finally we can have number of units sold and bill amount so if we have a star schema like this so we can basically all the dimensions are joined to the uh, fact using their uh, primary keys uh, uh, all the dimension tables primary keys will go as foreign keys into the fact table and fact table will contain some measures like number of units sold and the bill amount etc and the dimension tables will have attributes which describe the dimensions in more detail like whether it's a holiday in us whether it's a holiday in india whether it's a uh, quarter one or quarter two as per the company calendar and for, uh, as per the irs calendar what quarter is this so we have uh, in product also we could save a lot of attributes for now we have only name and category in the store also we have uh, only the region and the store name currently but we can save uh, more attributes like whether it's a uh, region with uh, high density of population or low density of population high income what is the average income level of that region generally as per us uh, data so we can save a lot of uh, more we can add a lot more attributes to the dimension table at any point of time uh, so the advantage of this is we can so answer a lot of questions like uh, in last quarter what is my sale for a particular category or for a particular product in a particular store or in a region or on a holiday in us what is my sale for this product on a holiday in uh, india what is my sale uh, for this particular product in, india, in a store in india and in uh, uh, what is uh, in a quarter uh, like where a lot of holidays are there like uh, christmas and thanksgiving what is my sale so we can answer a lot of questions uh, by uh, coming up with a dimensional model by converting our oltp into a dimensional model and uh, we uh, we basically are joining here a big fact table with several small dimension tables so that will be much faster than in a er model where more, more most of the tables are uh, big and a uh, lot of joints are required the goal there is to uh, reduce the redundancy whereas the goal here is to query the data quicker we can tolerate some redundancy here for uh, the uh, performance improvement in querying the data